today we are answering the age-old question that I get. You build Gundam, but do you build anything else? What is up guys? Welcome back to Hobby Bolt. My name is Skylar and <laughs> I keep all of my kits to basically Gundam because I just feel like if I dive too much into any other fandom, I will have just as many of those kits as I do Gundam. Gundam is my number one passion, but I just feel like it could get into dodgy territory if I go anywhere else. I'm not feeling so good today, so we're just gonna go over some of my kits really, really quick. Uh, bear with me, I'm sorry that I can't give you guys the usual pep. I am trying. <laughs> so, as we discussed first and foremost at the beginning of uh, Mobile Suit Miss is uh, I found myself inside the world of Warhammer, specifically with the Sisters of Battle, which are literally nuns with guns. If you guys are unfamiliar with Warhammer, it is a tabletop game in which it's just war strategy, basically. It's science fiction and like, it's really messed up. Like it's super messed up. If you think Gundam has messed up aspects, just, just, just go to Warhammer and read a little bit about the Emperor and how he's literally a body sitting on a throne and he takes a thousand souls a day to be able to keep the world from collapsing. It's, ah, it's crazy, it's crazy. Their runners are way different than Gundam's. If you've never had a chance to actually look at these models up close, they are surprisingly full of detail and the biggest part about them is people like to paint them and the tiny detail work, it's just, I'm fascinated by it. I can't wait to paint these girls. Uh, I know it's a Gunpla channel, but I'm definitely going to have a Warhammer series coming up once Mobile Suit Mist is over with and I have a little bit more time because this is a brand new hobby that I picked up that I have quickly found. I, I very much enjoy it. They are beyond cool. Like I, I am a fan. Next, next, next. I am a fan of Dragon Ball. I am a fan of Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z, the Cell Saga is my favorite saga in all of Dragon Ball Z. And I have a couple of kits from it. The first Dragon Ball Z kit I ever made as a kid was Vegeta. This is not the one from my childhood. This is the remake of him, but He's pretty impressive. I don't collect figures. I don't collect anything like that, but I just, I, I started with Vegeta because I remember doing Vegeta. I did Vegeta and I did Piccolo and I loved Vegeta so much and Piccolo so much that for some reason I built like three or four of both of them. Like I'm not even kidding. I had that many. Did not build Goku. Goku's not my favorite character. So my favorite character is Trunks. That's a hot take. Some people don't like that, but I like trunks. <laughs> and then the second one I built is one that I'm really impressed with and it's Brawly. Like, first of all, he's massive. Like, I mean, he is massive. I mean, he's massive anyways, but he's crazy. If you guys haven't seen the newest movie that came out, you need to watch it. It's, it's really cool. Cinematically, just artistically, just everything. Mwah. I suggest him. He is insane. You guys know how much I like the chunky kits. Like, they're cool kids. Oh, okay. <laughs> then of course, uh, we have Best Boy here, which is Trunks. Trunks has not been completed. His legs are only done and I haven't done anything. I haven't finished him yet, but as soon as I get time, I'm gonna finish Trunks. Because of the Cell Saga, of course, I could not live without 17, 18, and Perfect Cell. Uh, my favorite form from Cell is his second form but Perfect Cell is pretty cool and I had to get these guys to finish it. I haven't built them yet, but if you guys wanna see them in the future, I definitely can do something with them. I don't know. I just really like Dragon Ball. Uh, it was the whole reason I became a personal trainer, a figure competitor. Literally, all I wanted to do was just fight people when I was a kid. <laughs> and then I have one more Dragon Ball and then I swear we're getting into some of the weird, obscure things that you can see over here. <laughs> Of course, uh, Akira Toriyama is the creator of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, all of that. He really, really likes drawing cars and like car ads and mechanical things. And you can see that if you watch Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z, you can see that all of the machinery has massive detail and has a certain style to it. So he has a mecha collection in which he created all of the best vehicles. This is Goku and his jet buggy. Now I wanna show him just really, really quick. He's two runners, but he has to be painted. Literally, he's just gray and then he's green. And then of course, where's his little face? There's his little face right there. 
Now, no, 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 no. Now we're getting into my last four kits. I'm gonna start with the weirdo one that I actually started and I'm gonna tell you why you wanna stay away from it. So first of all, a lot of people have told me that this anime is extremely messed up. From what I understand, they are mech suits that use the blood and souls of their pilots to actually power them. I'm guessing this is who pilots this one. Again, I'm not really sure. It's just, it's weird, it's really cool, but let me just explain to you something really quick with it. I am very impressed with the amount of effect pieces and clear parts that it actually has. Let me tell you why this is where I stopped. This, this. This is the sticker sheet that is literally all of the effect pieces, all the purple and green that you see on the front there and the little veins in it are all stickers. It's still really cool. If you guys have built these, I definitely want to know a little bit more about this. Can't get over how cool the effect pieces are on it. Literally, you guys already know how much I love the clear part. So it is very cool. I want to know a little bit more about it. I love purple. I love lime green. So it's really cool. I just don't know enough about it. Now, I am a PlayStation fan. I have always been a PlayStation fan and I had to get the model kit for it. Like, it is extremely well detailed. Look at the circuit boards on it. It's literally gonna be a miniature PlayStation with the little tiny, little tiny controllers and everything. Here's the actual body. Like, it's so cool. I can't wait to build it. Now, I got this A because I'm a PlayStation fangirl, of course, um, but, oh, that and you can't find the PlayStation 5. I still don't have the PlayStation 5. Now, I have a bigger plan for this bad boy. Um, I got this weird idea that I wanted to buy somebody's, like, not working PlayStation 1 to make as a, a base for a diorama for a PlayStation-themed Gundam. Um, but it's so huge, it's big, and it requires a lot of work, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this together and then it's going to be the base for a PlayStation themed Gundam that I'm going to make in the future and I am so stoked to do that project. I can't wait to share that with you. Now, 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 now. Represent, represent. I am a huge Atlas fan. I am a huge Persona fan. I am a huge SMT fan. Anything that Atlas makes us SMT, Persona, who. Persona 3 is my favorite, and for SMT, whew, that's a hard one. I really like the Rido games, I really like Digital Devil Saga, I really like Nocturne, Nocturne just got a remaster, uh, we're still waiting for it here in the States. I found an Arsene model kit, I have not even touched it yet, I, it's such a tragedy, it's such a tragedy. Arsene is not one of my favorite, like, main personas, but Arsene is very, very cool. It's got, if you know anything about Persona or SMT, it's got the little Jack Frost sticker right there. Jack Frost is the mascot for Atlas. I, it, this is so cool. This is so cool. The whole entire box looks exactly like you would imagine it would be on the video game. Ashima character kit selection. This is my first of this model maker that I've ever done. Here's the booklet. I didn't do anything, so he's still in his bag, but our send's gonna be really cool. I can't wait to build them. I really hope they do more of the personas uh, and just, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize this. Look at this. He comes with screws. Okay, this is gonna be really cool. Let me know if you wanna see this, whether you're a persona fan or not. Oh, I can't wait to build him. Last but not least is the weirdest kit that I think I have. He's not even out of the plastic. He is literally a cat in a tank. He is literally a cat in a tank. It's a whole series from what I, I saw where it's just a bunch of cats in tanks. It's literally a cat in tanks, that's it. There was no other reason to get this other than the fact that it is a cat in tanks. Cat in tank. It was the weirdest thing. I saw it on the shelf in my hobby town and I was just like, you know what? I really wanna build this. It was the only one that was left. Apparently they had all the other cats, but I missed it. The model builders in my area, they're ruthless. Uh, <laughs> When anything comes into stock in Hobbytown, USA, literally, they snatch it. They post it on a Facebook page and everyone's like, save that for me, save that for me, save that for me. And then I never, <laughs> I never get a chance unless I specifically order something. Cat tank, cat tank. Oh my gosh, these runners are so small. They're so little. Where's the cat? Oh, look at the cat. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm kind of sad I didn't get to build the cat. 
He's staring into your soul. This is what I'm definitely gonna do in the future. If you guys wanna see this one built, let me know. It's the most ridiculous kit I own. <laughs> and that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm hoping I feel a little bit better tomorrow. I really wanna get started on my Blue Destiny. I started cutting and I'm super impressed with the kit already. But right now, I'm just like struggling. I'm struggling. I hate it so much. But thank you for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow for Mobile Suit Miss Day 19. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. The holidays are like right around the corner. That's insane. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Warhammer people, do you think I can use Cat Tank as a proxy for anything on uh, on one of my games? Can I use it in my Sister of the Battle army? That I want to know. <laughs> also, uh, what armies are you guys playing in Warhammer? Because I really want to know. I'm fascinated by the thought process behind why somebody chooses their own army. Like, because they have a million different reasons. Honestly, nobody is good in the Warhammer world. The closest to good that I've seen are the Tau. And even then... Not really. The tower closest to Gundam, I think it's so funny. We have a Facebook group for my Hobby Town USA and I've been noticing a lot of Gunpla builders have started moving over to Warhammer and every single one of them <laughs> chose the Tau. And I'm like, guys, we build, we build, we build robots all day long. I am thou, thou art I. <laughs>